390 Wagon Master here. I want to show you uh, something I've been playing with today. Uh, last night on the live stream, I was talking about my little UR6 QW. Uh, this is a little 8 band uh, EQ compressor. They sell these on eBay. I bought this back in like um, 2018, I believe it was. And uh, I just want to tell you if you're going to buy one of these to make your CB radio sound like some big strapper on 6 Motormouth Mall or one of those hi fi guys or something. This is not going to work for you unless your radio has been wide banded and um, highly modified then it will more than likely not pass most of these frequencies down here okay so um, you know you'll be able to articulate the highs and stuff but that's about it however you will get the effect of the um, the noise gate which i really like uh, one of my favorite things about this is the really hot mic preamp here and it works really good so if you have a mic that you like the sound of, like my BUM1, however, you'd like a little bit more punch to it, then go. Then this would work out just fine. Okay, this is the four-pin DX plug model. I opted to do that because I convert everything over using these little jumpers. I'm using this uh, today on the little 991. The uh, EQ setting on the 991 is off. I usually never use that. Uh, not usually I do not use it um, After I went through the learning curve and everything. I just decided I just don't like it. So I like it flat I run my mic gain at 50% This comes in at just uh, about 8 30 9 o'clock and That seems to be very very hot for this. Actually, I could turn this mic down right in there and then not run the the noise gate and that usually works pretty good too but i like messing around with the noise gate i think it's kind of cool okay so for an ac adapter i use a uh little adapter that i got from uh, one of my bow fangs the little charge station so i just robbed it real quick didn't have to convert or cut the cable or anything the bow fang um, power supply is 10 volts and I measured it at 9.9 .9 with my meter. It has the same standard little 12 volt plug. Center pin is uh, positive as usual. That's pretty standard, but always check. Always look on the back and check. And, um, and that works fine. You can run this on anywhere from between, I believe, 8 or 9 volts all the way up to about 16 volts. And I've run this on 9 volts many a times. Uh, just a little 9 volt battery. And the little power cable here, just plug her right in and you're good to go. Um, so maybe in a field day or a, a portable type situation, if you want to mess around with this, it can be done. All right, so pretty fun little uh, system to mess around with. Um, the BUM1 is kind of known for having a decent mid-bass response to it. So really what I wanted to do is I just wanted to kick in the highs. Um, I was messing around this talking to Darren, and he says, yeah, it sounds really bassy, Kenwoodish, and I'm like, oh, no, never mind. So I usually like these just flat, you know, but I like to make it a little bit hotter with the highs boosted, then give it a little bit of preamp here, and then um, do it with your drive. And that would work on anything, that would work really good on something like that. Just an old uh, CB radio would work fine, but like I say, understand these lower frequencies here, especially in here, you're more than likely not gonna not gonna pass those very well. So, um, if like I say, if you're looking for that hi-fi sound, um, you're gonna need a wide-banded radio or something. You're gonna need something more. Um, the Yesu passes these frequencies, no sweat, no sweat. I also have one of these for my Kenwood 850 and uh, passes those frequencies to an extent it doesn't really get down into the low low frequencies but at that point it's just you're just literally just wasting rf power so if, if you want good communication audio you're going to want to stay up in here right and leave this low end flat in my opinion all right you guys uh just thought i'd do this quick video and thanks for watching and thanks for all of your support and uh, we'll uh, talk at you later please leave questions or comments down below cheers